A big day for the Broncos, the first day of the NFL legal tampering window. You can agree in principle with players that it doesn't become official. Either way, the Broncos taking some big swings, spending some big money, and our Denver 7 Broncos insider Troy Rank is on top of all of it. Troy, they started the day probably with their biggest swing to try to address their biggest need on the offensive line protecting Russell Wilson. What do you think about the moves they made? Yeah, listen, Sean Payton, Jason, has a history of addressing the offensive line when he was in New Orleans. He lived up to that reputation. They addressed right tackle with Mike McGlinchey, a former top 10 pick of the Niners, over 50 million guaranteed on his deal. Then they go get a left guard from Baltimore, Ben Powers. His deal will have almost 29 million guaranteed. So you're talking 80 million guaranteed, two new starters. It does probably signal the end of Dalton Reisner here, but two new starters on the offensive line. And then you get a backup quarterback in Jared Stidham. So you can see clearly that this Broncos team wanted to change the offensive line. Jason, they allowed a league worst 63 sacks last year. So the man celebrating should be Russell Wilson today. Now, obviously, those moves aren't made in a vacuum, whether it's the money or the positions that they might come in and replace. So what does that mean now for the team as they kind of take that next step? Yeah, they still have some money to play with here because of the way they're going to structure these contracts. But they came in with roughly 35, 38 million in salary cap space around top 10 because they cut three veterans last Friday. So they have some room. They have room probably for one more big move. They could also trade Cortland Sutton or Jerry Judy, which would free up room. I would prefer they trade Sutton only because he only has two touchdowns in his last 26 games. Judy looks like he's finally figuring it out. But one of those two looks like they could go. That could clear space. And also, this means probably the end of Draymond Jones and Dalton Reisner because of the money they're going to command on the market. I don't see either one of them coming back, certainly not Reisner, with the signing of Ben Powers. And it's been rapid fire throughout the NFL really all morning. We expect that conti to continue. You mentioned signing a backup quarterback, Jared Stidham from the Raiders. The Raiders also then signed Jimmy Garoppolo to come in and be their starter. What is the bigger move for Broncos fans they should kind of pay attention to? Well, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have more of an impact because he's a starter, but keep an eye on Jared Stidham for this reason. Sean Payton, for me, is giving Russell Wilson one year to figure it out. They could cut him after next year. The cap hit would be enormous, but they could do it and spread it over two seasons. So this is a huge audition year for Russell Wilson. Can he make it work with Sean Payton? Now you have a guy behind him in Stidham who played well with the Raiders. He went 0-2, but he played extremely well against the Niners. So if Russell Wilson's having an historically bad day like he did for against the, against the Colts, could he be benched? That's what Broncos country will want to know. How much patience would Sean Payton have now with a backup who's shown he can play effectively? And Jared Stidham is an upgrade over Brett Rippon. And our Broncos insider, Troy Rank. He's been all over it all morning long. We'll be all over it throughout the day. You can read his articles up on Denver7.com, and he'll have the very latest tonight on Denver 7 News.